So I had something happen the other night when I was at work that uh, really kind of like it, it unsettled me. It, uh, you know, I was I've been feeling kind of manic lately. So, you know, I've been a lot of ideas, like minds racing, getting getting some things done, but you know, also maybe getting a little bit reckless. Not too bad because you know I don't my, my form when I have manic episodes are not like reckless and dangerous. They usually get more productive. The most reckless I get is I, is I might spend too much at the thrift store. Like that's, that's about it. So, um, so I've been, I was feeling a little manic. I've, I've been feeling that way, uh, for a little while. And that's, you know, good and bad. Cause I'm always on the eye. I'm always keeping my eye out for the, for the switch where it's a switch over and I'm going to have like a downfall depressed episode. Cause like, fuck that. It sucks. Um, you know, but anyway, I was feeling manic. I'm kind of feeling manic now. So I feel manic, but but I was at work and I was tattooing, and then somewhere during the day, I don't, I couldn't pinpoint it at first. I couldn't figure out what happened. It's just like my mood started to switch, and I started getting really irritable and anxious, and I was getting a lot of like negative thoughts, and I couldn't really really fight them off. I start to feel real shitty about myself. It took me a little while of reflecting on what was going on at work to understand what happened. Uh, and I think a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have been able to, to, to notice this and recognize it, but you know, the continued work on, on, you know, mindfulness and self-awareness has been, you know, something that's allowed me to be able to see these kind of things, you know, even if it's a little bit of hindsight, you know, I figured it out the same day. So that's good. Um, I realized that, in a song I was listening to, uh, well, you know, whatever the, I, I have the playlist. It's like 500 fucking rap songs that I like. Like it's a massive ongoing playlist. And somewhere in one of those songs, in one of the verses, some rapper says the words gray goose. That was it. it just said, you know, gray goose and then moved on for some reason. And I, for some reason that this, this particular moment, like I wasn't a gray goose drinker, like toward, toward the last, you know, the last even 10 years of my drinking, I wasn't even a vodka drinker, but early twenties, I, I was a heavy vodka drinker. You know, I'd say probably from 19 or 20 to like 23, 24, I was, I mean, shit, there were several years there. I was putting back a, a fifth, like almost daily. Like, so I drank a lot of vodka, but I didn't drink gray goose. I drank sky. I drank you know, when I went from Sky, I went Sky up to Belvedere because I was thought I was a baller. <sighs> Guy saying Grey Goose. It fucked me up. Because just for that split second, it was like I, I remembered exactly what it felt like to be 23 and drinking with my buddies. I remember what it felt like sitting in the Lazy Boy playing video games just drinking vodka from the bottle. You know, I could remember and it was like I could it was taste it. It was like, I wasn't quite to having like, you know, my mouth wasn't quite watering, but it was like close, you know, and I could, I could taste that. And it was just something about it that just, it just fucked with me. You know, cause it's like, there's this really weird mix of feelings you get. And I don't know if other people in recovery get this same kind of feeling. I'd imagine they do. Um, it's this feeling of like nostalgia and sadness like mixed together. And it's like a sadness for the fact that you can't do that again. Cause you know what it does. Because sometimes you have, sometimes you, you'll have memories and stuff, you know, look, look, I'm a fucking raging alcoholic. I know that. And, you know, all the really, all the most awful points in my life have been, you know, driven by alcohol. But, you know, that's not to say I never had good times. Like, that would be a fucking lie. Like, I had lots of great times drinking, you know, and, um. Sometimes you forget the bad times. And when sometimes when you get one of those things that kind of uh, just, just triggers uh, those senses, 
you're forgetting about the bad times, but you know at the same time that you can't, you know? Uh, anyway, I got that feeling, and I but I shut it down real quick, you know, and moved on past it, forgot about it. And what I didn't realize is that's when my mood started shifting. And it took me a couple hours. It took me a couple hours to, under, to, to really think it through and realize, like, that's what it originally set it off. Um... You know, and I don't know, because, like, when, when I start getting depressed and stuff, like, you know, even, you know, I don't, when I start getting depressed, my mind goes to suicidal ideation. Like, it doesn't, I don't start thinking, like, I really want to kill myself, but, like, my mind starts going in that direction where it starts thinking things like, well, you know, maybe it'll just be easier, maybe easier for everybody, better off. I don't really feel that way, and I know I don't feel that way, you know, and it's, it's, it's weird once you're... You know, once you're in treatment and once you're in like recovery and stuff and those thoughts still pop up, but you know, you don't actually feel like that before I felt like that. So I was like, okay, well, yeah, I really felt like that. So of course those feelings will, will pop up. And now it's like, they still pop up, but I'm like, what the fuck is that still doing there? Why is that thought still there? You know, so I get all these really bad thoughts and stuff and, and it, you know, it takes, it, it's one of, this is, I'm just, I don't know. I'm ranting because this is one of the first times I've been able to go back and pinpoint you know what it was that that triggered me feeling like that and by understanding what triggered that feeling i was able to kind of pull myself back from it now, i mean i still kind of was like a little eh, toward the end of the night but i was able to pull myself way back and and i i wasn't like mired in fucking despair all night like i might have been another time and it was all because i was able to look back and see what had triggered it and you know i'm just i'm kind of proud of myself for for being able to understand that now you know because years ago i wouldn't have been able to it's all because i i work on mindfulness and self-awareness you know I, I do a lot of introspection i do a lot of um you know I, I do a lot of things where i'm trying to evaluate my own emotions and evaluate my actions because like you know if you take take time to go back and look at these things then like it can really tell you a lot about you know your behavior and what makes you act certain ways you know, we don't do things for no reason. Like, people that are like, I just got a bad temper. And it's like, you don't just have a bad temper. There's a reason to have a bad... I got a fucking bad temper. But there's a reason for it. And there's always reasons for it. So it's like, you can look back and you can find these things. So, I mean, this, this was a, a... It was a success for me, even though it came out of, like, some, some pretty shitty feelings. There was a success in there. And I think it's real important for you to do the same kind of thing. When you're able to, like... You know, do do a little bit of introspection, do a little bit of self-evaluation to be able to say, like, get to a point where you can pinpoint things and see why you're behaving certain ways, why you're feeling certain ways. Because, you know, sometimes things do just pop up, but a lot of times there's a trigger for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and so my feelings didn't just pop up there was something that set it off and then after that it's a chain reaction they just kind of go on their own and it's like i can't stop what's happening here you know but there was something that that set it off so i don't know just just you know some some thoughts for you if if uh if you know you you struggle with anything really take time take time to to, to evaluate your own emotions your own thought process it's very helpful the more you do it the better you get at it, the the less judgmental you can be of yourself during the process. You know, I've been at it for years to get where I'm at. So I hope this helps you or helps someone you know. If you think somebody needs to hear it, like let them hear it. Like, you know, <laughs> nobody's alone. We all, we're all going through the same shit. So thank you. I love you guys. Thanks for giving me, giving me 10 minutes this morning.